Here we are again on the River Cannet in Royal Berkshire, and it's one of my favourite rivers. It's so clear, and normally, though, this time of the year, it would be somewhere about this high and, and bombing through. I don't think I've ever seen it so low for the, for the winter. I expected there to be snow and it to be bombing through. We've been very lucky, really, this year with the weather, although in northwest Scotland they've had more rain than they've ever had in the last 50, 60 years. And in eastern Scotland, just like on our own eastern seaboard, we've had virtually none. It's most peculiar. To show you how really mild it is for this time of the year, I do believe on the end of the, the island here there's a nest with some mallard's eggs in it. Oh, look at that. She's got five eggs in there. She must have been laying them in January. That's amazing. Before I mosey on downstream and explore the rest of the river, this pool is just too tempting. I've put some maggots in there at the head of the white water and I'm going to follow in with my float tackle. I've had to use a very heavy float for this pool, an even one, and it's got four AA shot to keep the bait right down on the bottom where the dace and the grayling live. It's belting down there at the moment and it really is pulling through. Hook a fish in this sort of current and it Get a lovely fight. Just holding it back steadily. Cool, look at that. We're in straight away. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh, it's going in the current. I'll have to put a bit of side strain on it and get it out of that main, main water there. Well, that does feel like a good fish. It also feels like a big grayling. Yes, it is a big grayling. Oh, oh, look at that dorsal fin on the surface. Oh, what a lovely start. Don't come off. Come on. In you come. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's a super start to the day. That is Wilson, isn't it? Now, steady on. Oh, he's jumping all over the place. Don't want you to jump back in before I've got a hold of you. Oh. Where's the hook? Oh, it's come out in the net. That's a bit of luck. Oh, what a beautiful fish to start the day. Look at that. That's a male grayling. They've got that lovely big sail type fin look at that and beautiful colors there beautiful colors what a lovely start to the day isn't it what a super fish <laughs> that one's gone back nicely i like to watch him swim off the water's so beautifully clear here it really is wonderfully clear that's what i like about these southern chalk streams they're so pure you can see that there's willow moss growing on the edge of this sill here and it's bright green here we are in the beginning of february it's beautiful water i do believe the chalk streams of berkshire hampshire wiltshire dorset are some of the loveliest rivers in our land That's lovely, that's just at the end of the run there, about a yard beyond my float, it, it starts to shelve up and then it goes into the shallows by the island. So most of the fish are gonna be in this run or the other back eddy on the other side. But I've always preferred this run, it seems to have a, perhaps a nicer habitat from the fish's point of view, who knows what they want when they're down there. Perhaps the current close to the bottom there is just that little bit steadier and brings more food to them than perhaps the other side. Whenever I've been scuba diving weir pools, I've... Here we are. Oh, oh, what's this? It's a good fish. <laughs> oh, that's going. <laughs> Come on, my son. Out of the flow. That's a good grayling. Come on. Hey, 
don't laugh, go hard. It, incredible fighters grailing, they really are absolutely incredible. Come on. Oh, gotcha. I love the sight of that red dorsal fin as you bring them up to the surface. Whoops. Oh, nearly lost him. This is another male one. Look at that beautiful dorsal fin. Isn't that a sight? Incredible fish they are, Grayling. Absolutely incredible. That's just going round beautifully there. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Going back in the fast water now, just starting to give it a bit more line. It's a nice thing about centre pin fishing, you can just take your hand off it and let it go round and take line as the float wants it. It's a funny sensation, I can actually feel the, the reel underneath my thumb as it spins round. This wind's a bit, a bit hairy here. Oh, yes! Oh, that's a good fish. Now, what's this? No, it isn't a very big fish. I think it's a little grayling. No, it isn't. It looks like a big dace. Oh, at last. It's about time. Oh, that is a good dace. Come on. Oh, that's a really big fish. Oh, that is a good one. I have to be very careful with this. Come on. Let's hope the hook holds. Yes, gotcha. Oh, that looks an enormous great dace. Oh, it is. Look at that. <laughs> That's the fish I've been after. Oh, careful. It's funny thing about dace. They're not a big species. In fact, the British record's only a pound and a quarter. But look at that. That must be the best part of a pound. So, really, that's probably <laughs> the best specimen I'm going to catch today relative to the species. That is a clonking great dace. Looks OK, the maggots are OK. No, I don't think I'll bother to change them. I'll just bang that in straight again and see if I can hit that same spot. I haven't actually put the float there before. It's not always easy to get... No, it's not really going there this time because the, the main... Oh, yes, it is. It's just... Yes, here we are. Oh, this is a good fish. Hello, what have we got here? Oh, that feels very good indeed. Very good. It's going very slowly, so I don't think it's a trout. Might be a chub, you never know. Sometimes you get chub in these fast pools. Hello, I th hello, something's... That looked to me like a very big roach then. It came to the top. Oh, I'm gonna have to be careful with this fish. It's back in the... F oh, that's an enormous roach. <laughs> oh, I have to be very careful with this. One heavy roll in that, that current there and it'll pull the hook out. Come on, come to Johnny. Ooh. Oh, the pressure against the hook is enormous at this point. Yeah, oh, gotcha. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, I never, never expected to catch anything like this today. Oh, that's a real whopper. That's got to be close on two pounds. He's got a very unusual orange blotch there. It's almost like a sort of a birthmark. Very strange. Look at that. Isn't that absolute magic? Well, I've completely changed tack now. I've got a very light stick float on a smaller hook and I'm going to fish the sort of tiny little stream that most people when they're river fishing ignore. This is a lovely little carrier, this one. This is something I've designed on the end of my keep that bag, a bit of foam and... Ooh, whenever I'm kneeling, it uh, just gives me that much extra comfort. Put a few maggots. Oh, it's very fast there. Now, I don't think this is much deeper than about three feet. Try a couple of maggots and trot through this. Old maggot pouch is handy. Stops me keep having to open and shut bait tins all day long. And if I'm using worms, I might put 
worms in the other side as well. Just one or two in there. You never know what you're going to get in these little... Mind those bits of old crud there, otherwise I'll get caught up. Love fishing these little spots. You never really know what you're going through. Lovely there. Might be a little bit too deep there. That's pulling that through beautiful. Hmm. I think I was a little bit too deep. Yes, I was. There's a little bit of <laughs> stuff on it. it was a little bit too deep then. Come down a couple of inches. It's very shallow in front of me, and then it smooths out at the edge of the pool there. So you've got to try and work out where the fish are going to be lying. That's still too shallow. I'll have to cast it downstream. That's better. Give it a quick flip and let that go through. That's lovely. That's going through lovely. A lot of flies hatching here. I mean, this sort of my hello. Oh, that was a good fish. I was going to say, in this mild weather, I would expect them to hatch. It's very windy too. Oh, the, the hooks there turned in, in on a maggot and masked it when I struck. A lot of trains going by today. Hell of a lot of trains. Can't escape noise even in the deepest countryside. It's amazing, it really is. Well, that's soon gone. Come on, let's see what's in here. Down we go. Oh, yes. Oh, hello, what's this? Oh, that's good. Oh, that looks like a good sized chub. I'm going to have to let that, let that get down there. Oh, that is a good fish. This water's a lot, a, a lot fast. No, it isn't. No, it's a grayling. It's a big grayling. I thought, I thought that was a chub then when I saw that big bat come out. This is so fast here. I've got to be careful. I don't rip the hook out. <clears throat> That's me net. Oh, come on. Oh, this f <laughs> flow here is. Absolutely incredible. I should have extended the net there, Wilson. Mm. Mm. Gotcha. Oh, no, I haven't he jumped. <laughs> oh, jumped out. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at that. First trot down. See these tiny little places? Look at that. They produce the fish. Six foot wide. Three foot deep, the sort of place most anglers would ignore, and yet within minutes you can catch fish like that. It's a fine looking fish. Whoops. Hold still while I uh, do my dentist work. And yeah, let's put you back straight away. Oh. Trotting through there beautifully. And I had a little tiny twitch then. Yes, hello, what's this? Oh, this is better. Cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what on earth is this? I was trying to get in those sedges there. Oh, this is a better fish. Oh, oh it's a chub, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. oh, I can't bring it up against this flow. Come on. Got his mouth open. Yes. Whew. Well, look at that. It's not as big as I thought, but it's a reasonable fish. You never believe you'd catch fish like this in these. Little tiny streams. Look at that. He's not a monster, but it's okay, isn't it? <laughs> About two and a half, three pounds. Oh, careful. <laughs> Let's put him back straight away. Oh. 
There you go. <laughs> Looks even smaller in the water. It's beautifully quiet through these woods. Just the noise of the birds. Be careful with your rod tip here, though, next to these elderberries. Is he coming out into leaf, too? Oh, look at this. A glorious patch of snowdrops. That's beautiful. So early, they're not normally out like that until the end of March. Some ash here, birch. And I don't know what that's doing there, but it looks like a flowering cherry. It's odd, right in the middle of the woods. This looks an intriguing little pool. I bet that's pretty during the summer, what with these tussock sedge and sedges all along that bank and big patch of reed mace there. It's quite deep here. Now at the tail end it shelves up about about here where this big bed of watercress hangs out and there's some streamer weed on the bottom. Might even give that a bit of a go later on, we'll see. There's so much water here, just don't know where to fish sometimes. Well, here we are, we're on a, <laughs> a different part of the river now, and I'm into fish almost instantly. It's still the River Kennet, but it looks much different to the, the weir pool and all the other little carriers. I don't know what this is, but it feels very good indeed. What is it? Yep, I think it's a little, little rainbow. We'll have to unhook you carefully, won't we? It's a nice thing sitting down low to the water. You can, you can just unhook the trout where he is. There we are. Oh, devil, you soaked me. Well, that was a good start, but we're not really after trout, are we? We're after roach and dice. Put a couple more maggots on. The reason I'm fishing the far bank is because there's a deep run that's carved out by the flow about 50 yards upstream of me. The, the current veers across to that far bank and on my own bank here is quite a few silt beds and mud banks but on the other bank there it's, uh, it's considerably deep, it's probably twice the depth and that's why the fish are over there. Lovely trotting this the way to view these rivers really, try and interpret where the fish are going to be by the current uh, deviations. We've done the same in the weir pool but we're looking for different things when we're on the main river itself because it's in essence the same width and the, oh here we are <laughs> and looks all the same depth all the way across but of course it isn't. Well, what have we got here? Feels quite good. I think it's a grayling. Could be a dace, I don't know. Some big dace in this main river as well. What's this? Could be a roach. It's going well, whatever it is. No, it looks like a grayling. Let's unhook you in the water. Come here. I'll unhook you in the water and then you'll come to no harm whatsoever. Hook's just in the bottom lip there. Yup. Where you go. Thing in this river, you never really know what to expect. It could be a grayling, rainbow, brown trout, 
dace, roach, chub. I've heard that there's even one or two good perch in this stretch and some carp too. It's most unusual. If we get a carp, it's... <laughs> It's going through beautifully now, absolutely beautifully. I've gone a little bit over depth on this cast, just to see if I can scrape bottom a little bit harder. I've got a dust shot about 20 inches from the hook and a number four, the same distance above that, and then there's just the shots around the float. So the presentation is really quite sensitive, for me anyway, I'm not a match angler. Yes, we're in. <laughs> Oh, this feels a good fish. What's this? Hello, hello, hello. This does feel very big indeed. Oh dear, Wilson, you're going to have to take your time with this. This isn't having any at all. It's going on the other side of the river. And it's very heavy as well. It's not, it's not fast like a trout. It's very deliberate. Picked up a bit of weed around the floor. It's just surface. It looks like a chub. <laughs> That's definitely a chub. That's a good fish, too. I thought that was a really, really good fish then, but it isn't. It's not that big at all. Come on, and net this one. I'm not going to bother to pick this one out. In you come. Oh, lovely. Oh, put the rod down and have a look at you. Not a massive fish, but probably about two and a half pounds, something like that. Oh! Well, what a wonderful day we've had. We've had roach, dace, grayling, trout and chub. It's been an absolutely wonderful time here on the Kennet. <laughs> and if you have a look over there right this minute, there's a short-eared owl quartering that meadow. Look at that. Well, just by way of a change, just split the day up a little. I've taken the float rod back to the car and picked up my lure rod because the river keeper assures me there's one or two good pike lying along those sedges there. So I'm going to give them a go. I'll put the glasses on. Well, here we are. This is where I expect the pike to be lying, somewhere along this thick bank of sedges. It's very squelchy and I'm going to have to be careful here. I don't scare fish off before I've even had a cast for them. It's just to test the clutch on the reel first. I don't want to have a break up first cast. I've got a little tiny vibratory action plug on which has got a rattle inside it and when I twitch it it'll send out vibrations and pull hard it'll dive and during these initial casts, I like to vary the retrieve, quick, do it a bit slow, so the lure doesn't do the same thing twice. Normally by now, we should have had a... should have had a take. Right, I think I'm going to move just above the willow. It's a nice thing about this method, it's a, a roving game and you never get bored in one spot. This bank's so spongy here, it's ridiculous. This is a nice spot here. I can work all along this, this near bank. Not too close to the sedges, Wilson. Now that's where I would expect them to be lying. Just on there. Have a little twitch. Let it come up to the surface again. Yes, and we're in. <laughs> you... <laughs> I'd let that come up to the surface then and I was just going to twitch it again. <laughs> I was not a big fish, but, well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's not a big one. God. <laughs> Let's put my green glove on. I like to glove pike out. I don't like messing about with nets. I'm just going to move him along here. I'm going to have to be rather careful with this one, I think. Uh, gotcha! 
Oh, that's lovely. Tremendous. Well, that's good for a... There we are. <laughs> Not a very big fisher's pike go, I'm afraid. <laughs> but absolutely great fun and light tackle. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put him back in the river, though, as it's a trout fishery. I think I'll put him back in the side stream. John Wilson puts his light tackle to good use again next week at the same time in The Shaman. <laughs>